If you're going to try your hand at growing a record-holding tomato or pumpkin or some other vegetable, one of the keys to the success of that is getting an early start. And one way to do that is by using various types of hot caps or protective covers or even cold frames. Now, over the past few years, you've seen us talk about some of these. One in particular is a greenhouse umbrella. Comes in different sizes. And you can raise it up a little bit to release some of the heat out of the bottom. And so we've probably got about three years of use out of them, and they work pretty well for some of the larger transplants. And they're starting to show up in some of the garden centers, but are pretty much available through some of your horticulture magazines through mail order. Now, a little cheaper way to develop a hot cap is just use a gallon milk jug or water container, cut the bottom off of it where you can plant the transplant, put it down around it, and then on those hot days where the sun is so intense that you need to release some air, you can just open up the lid and get some of that air out of it. Now, of course, on our windy days, you may have to use a little bit of extra protection with a brick or rock or something to hold them down or develop something to hold them in the soil a little bit more. And even the umbrella, sometimes you have to watch the wind because they might blow away on you. Now one that, again, is very popular, I think, in most of the garden centers that we've shown on the program is a wall of water. It comes in a package of three, and really it's just a clear plastic sleeve that has different individual pockets in it that you can fill up with water that once the sunlight heats the water, it helps insulate it a little bit more. And again, they work quite well on starting tomato transplants, various plants. And if you remember last year, the tomato world record holder right here in Oklahoma, he uses the wall of water to start his tomatoes very early. And sometimes he starts them so early that they'll actually grow out of the top of one of them. And so we still maybe have a little chance of freeze. What he'll do is devise some kind of frame where he can hold another one on top of the bottom one so he stacks them up too high. And that's how he gets a very early start on his tomatoes to get those big fruit and vines. So the wall of waters are pretty easy to find. Now a new one to the market this year is called Solar Set. Again, it comes in a package of about four, which runs, I think, around $7 in most retail garden centers. So you'll be seeing them show up. And basically, it's using recycled green plastic, kind of like the bubble plastic that you see for packing materials. And then you just take a tomato cage, and you turn it upside down and slide the plastic over it. Now, you, one thing we've noticed is our cages seem to be a little bit too big, so it's real crucial you measure them and make sure you get the right size so you can get them a little bit more insulated. And you just pull them down with your transplant starting in there, and then again it releases heat through the top. Now if you look on the back side of here, they even show that once a tomato started and the cold protection is, is really not needed anymore, you can invert the cage back up and still get some wind protection. They even claim that it will help in some insect and disease control, which I'm not sure quite how well they'll work. But again, the solar set will be showing up on the market. And of course, using your imagination, a lot of these things you can develop yourself probably. And there's a lot of things that you can recycle in your own home or landscape that will make good protective coverings. Now, of course, it's time really within the next few weeks to be planting our cold crops. So if you haven't started your transplants, you're going to get a little bit late start on them. So you may need to just go to your garden center to purchase them. But it is a good time to start your warm season transplants like tomatoes and peppers. So really, you need to determine how early you want to set things out and back up so many weeks to start your seeds if you grow your own transplants. We're going to try our hand at growing some things about three to four weeks earlier this year, so we already have some of our transplants started. Now, one way to start early transplants from seed, if you don't have a lot of success in your home, is by using a cold frame. So cold frames, not only can you use to start the transplants early in the garden, but also to start the seeds. And you can start them, you can put a light inside if you need to, and there's a lot of other accessories that are available out on the market that you can use. One thing that we're going to try this year is a soil heating cable. It's an electric one. We'll run a line out here. And we're going to dig a trench to put the cable in. And then we're going to try to plant some corn earlier on where we're going to warm up the soil with the cable and then also put a cold frame over it 
to insulate it and keep it from freezing. So we'll show you that a little bit later on when we try it. And the other thing too, if you've noticed on one of our recent Best of Oklahoma Gardening shows, Miss Kathy White of Oklahoma City, she really uses a lot of various types of cold frames. And she's one of the gardening enthusiasts that's tried some of the various thermal couples that we'll actually place here and so you don't have to worry about coming out every day to open the lid to release the heat. It will basically do it for you based on the temperature that you set it on. So if you look in a lot of your garden supplies and again at the garden centers you'll find a lot of these accessories that will help you be very successful in starting your transplants and your plants earlier. Well now I'd like to take you over and show you some basically cold frames that Alan has developed and we're going to be planting some other things and we'll see what he's up to. Well Alan it looks like you're keeping busy. Well we're trying to get an earlier start on our seed potatoes. Uh, we have Yukon Gold which is a 55 to 65 day variety that was uh, donated to us by Ronniger Seed Potatoes. So you're basically trying to see how early you can get your potatoes in. We hope to have them done by June with, uh, with some aid of some benefits here. Well, now, even though they're cool season, you're still starting them so early you need to protect them. And tell us about what you've developed here. Well, what we have here, we have a cold frame constructed out of PVC. And to make the bows, we've heated the PVC a little bit to bend them into an arch. Well, let's see how it works. Okay. Alan, I'll help you put it up here. Now tell us how you're clipping the plastic on there, that type of thing. Well, we put some uh, one by twos along the edge of it, and where we can staple the plastic to it or put lath to hold the plastic down. Now I've constructed these little clips here out of uh, a size logger PVC, uh, three quarter inch on this half inch, and just cut a portion out of it, and then just clip it over the top of it to hold it down. Now, of course, with our windy days, you're still going to have to work out some ways to mount it on the raised bed. But with the bed heating up earlier in this, it seems like it really would work. Now, what about the days it gets too hot? How are you going to relieve some of the steam from it? Well, one idea is to put some bricks underneath it and just let a little bit of the cooler air come underneath and dissipate the, the hot air. Or these are light enough in 10-foot lengths that you can possibly put one of those automatic Vic openers on on two places in here and open this up automatically. Now I guess if we were going to try, depending on the type of vegetable, sometimes we may want to get this a little bit closer too, shouldn't we, to get closer to the bed to hold the heat closer? If we were wanting to use a little bit of a, like our warm season vegetables really early, we'd want it just a little closer to the bed to, so it hold more heat in there. Okay. Well it looks like a great idea. We'll uh, bring you back and see how it works out and see if we can get those early potatoes in. And of course, we've given you a lot of great ideas to get an early start, but keep in mind, you still have plenty of time to order your seed potatoes, to start your warm season transplant. So hopefully you'll be out active and visiting with those garden centers and looking in the magazines and see how you can get an early start on your garden.